my neighbors are getting a new roof. That's what all that noise is. So I posted a, a picture on Instagram yesterday of painting the table base, and I got a lot of questions about painting it. First, I want to explain that this table is going to be outside. It's going to go on a deck. It will have some shelter, but that's why I used Sapili for the apron. If this was just going to be an indoor table, I would have used poplar. But poplar is not a good wood to use outside. When I prime a painted project, I usually will use this Fresh Start by Benjamin Moore. Uh, this is a high hiding, all purpose primer. High hiding means it's pretty thick, so it kind of fills in areas. And uh, it's an interior exterior. And so I'll prime the whole base with this primer and that will kind of raise the grain and then I'll give the whole base a sanding and uh, actually in this case I primed it twice because when I sanded it uh, I went through in some areas and because this is going to be outside I wanted to give it a, a little extra attention so this one uh, got two coats of the Fresh Start by Benjamin Moore then for the finish I often paint a lot of things uh, Dove White by Benjamin Moore Benjamin Moore and this is the More Glow Soft Gloss. This is the Regal Select Exterior. And uh, I've used this on the trim on the barn. I've used it on other outdoor furniture. And uh, it's always kind of my go-to for trim work. And the, um, the cabinet that's upstairs on the deck, I used this paint. And I think that cabinet's about four years old and it's been outside all that time. So. Uh, Definitely a good paint for exterior use. I'm doing something a little different for the finish on this tabletop, so I thought I'd talk about that too. I didn't want to film on the finish because uh, this table is going to have really two lives. Its first life is going to be outside at my mom's house. I've got a big family, there's a lot of kids and grandchildren, and the idea is that the kids are going to naturally distress this tabletop. And then one day, years and years from now, my daughter will get this table and probably will be inside, maybe in a kitchen or a dining room. And she'll have those memories of sitting at the table and uh, playing with her cousins and eating crabs and things like that. So I didn't want to finish with a, a heavy film on it. And I thought that more of a penetrating oil would wear more evenly. So for this finish, I'm using a product from DeckWise. The first coat was called Wise Coat. It's a, a water-based or water-soluble finish. And that kind of raised the grain. And I let that dry for a day. Then I gave it a light sanding and I put a second coat of uh, a product called Epe Oil also from DeckWise, and that gave the table this really nice sort of dark color. So I think that that was probably the best solution for uh, what I'm going for with this project. You, you can let me know what you think in the comments, but I just didn't want to have kind of a, a polyurethane feel. I wanted that natural, natural wood look, and so far I'm really happy with it. So as you can see, I'm on the home stretch with this project. Tomorrow I'll attach the top to the base, finishing finish editing and get this video on my channel and uh, I also have to get the plans done too and the exciting thing about this project too is I have a feeling that um, the plans is going to be professional sketchup plans in about two or three weeks for this project I'll do the plans that I always do but I think that um, Van Dykes is going to hire Brian Benham to uh, turn my plans into professional SketchUp plans. So that's always exciting. So uh, as always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.